A group of Hampton Road students spent New Year's Day on the field at the Mercedes Benz Superdome. Yeah, that's because the high school marching band performed in the Sugar Bowl halftime show. 13 News Now reporter Megan Chen caught up with the students as they returned from New Orleans. After a two day drive to New Orleans and two day drive back to Suffolk. The magnificent marching warrior band is back at Nansman River High School. It's a long ride. <laughs> now these 70 students are returning with once in a lifetime memories. 71,000 people pack the stadium and watch them in the Sugar Bowl halftime performance. The college football game is one of the top five bowl games in the country. For the band and the school, this experience was a first. Oh, uh, I, was, I was proud of it. While in Louisiana, the band learned the entire show with nine other bands in three hours. Talk about pressure to perform. And then they told us that we would be on TV, so I had to really make sure I did my best. So my heart was just racing throughout the whole thing. But the students turned the pressure into a spectacle many watched back home. I'm a tear up because they did an awesome job. Nearly a year's worth of teamwork led to this moment. Yeah, a lot of practice. Plus a street parade after. At the helm of the hard work, band director Edward Woodis. He says band members raised more than $124,000 for their trip on their own. Yeah. So today, on his birthday, Wooda says the work is all for the kids to learn the value in the arts. And to the kids, it makes uh, for a better school, better community, and better, better students. It's a small step for us and a huge step for the entire performing arts community in Suffolk. Megan Shin, 13 News Now.